Moving on, China's Ministry of Commerce has launched two investigations into U.S. trade policies on chips. The global chip war just got hotter. In a stunning move, China has launched a full-scale anti-dumping investigation into U.S. semiconductor imports, accusing American companies of flooding its market with cheap chips to crush domestic competitors. This isn't just another trade dispute, it's the latest flashpoint in the high-stakes tech rivalry between the world's two biggest economies. For years, Washington and Beijing have battled over tariffs, export bans, and technology sanctions, but this time, the stakes are even higher. Semiconductors power everything from smartphones to fighter jets, and control over this industry means control over the future. With this probe, China is signaling it's ready to hit back hard, and the fallout could reshape the entire global tech landscape. China's Ministry of Commerce stunned global markets this week by launching a formal anti-dumping investigation into semiconductor imports from the United States. The move comes after months of rising trade tensions and Washington's increasingly aggressive restrictions on Chinese tech firms. According to Beijing, American companies have been selling chips in China at unfairly low prices, so low that they threaten to wipe out domestic competition. If the probe finds violations, the U.S. chip industry could face heavy tariffs, fines, or outright bans on certain products in the world's second-largest economy. The announcement immediately rattled stock markets. Shares of major U.S. semiconductor giants like Intel, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA dipped as investors worried about losing access to a Chinese market worth over $180 billion annually. Analysts say this investigation is not just about pricing, it's about power. Semiconductors are the backbone of modern technology, from smartphones and AI systems to military hardware. Control over this sector means control over the future of innovation. For years, Washington has accused Beijing of intellectual property theft and unfair subsidies to Chinese chipmakers, while Beijing accuses Washington of weaponizing export controls to strangle its tech rise. Now, with this probe, China is firing back in a high-stakes battle that could disrupt global supply chains and drive the U.S.-China tech war into uncharted territory. The U.S.-China chip war didn't start overnight. It has been building for years, fueled by rising geopolitical rivalry and the race for technological supremacy. Semiconductors, often called the brains of modern electronics, power everything from consumer gadgets to supercomputers and advanced weapons. Whoever dominates this industry gains a decisive edge in both economic and military power. The trouble began when the United States started imposing export bans on cutting-edge chip technology, targeting Chinese tech giants like Huawei and SMIC. Washington argued that China was using U.S.-made semiconductors for surveillance and military purposes, posing national security risks. Soon after the U.S., pressured allies like Japan and the Netherlands to restrict sales of advanced chip-making equipment to China. Beijing responded by pouring billions into its domestic chip industry, aiming for technological self-sufficiency under its Made in China 2025 initiative. But even as Chinese firms made progress, they remained heavily dependent on U.S. chip designs and manufacturing tools. That dependency became a major vulnerability when Washington tightened sanctions in recent years cutting off access to advanced chips needed for AI systems, 5G networks, and quantum computing. Now, by launching its anti-dumping investigation, China is signaling that it won't remain passive. It wants to protect its domestic chip makers and challenge what it sees as U.S. economic coercion. The economic shockwaves from China's anti-dumping probe are already spreading across global markets. For U.S. chip makers, China isn't just another buyer. It's one of their largest customers, accounting for nearly 30% of global semiconductor demand. If Beijing imposes steep tariffs or restrictions, companies like Intel, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA could lose billions in revenue almost overnight. Analysts warn this could trigger job cuts, reduced R&D budgets, and slower innovation in the U.S. semiconductor industry. Politically, the investigation deepens tensions between Washington and Beijing at a time when relations are already at their lowest point in decades. The U.S. has long accused China of state-backed subsidies and intellectual property theft in tech sectors, while Beijing sees U.S. sanctions and export bans as a deliberate strategy to block its rise as a tech superpower. This probe, Chinese officials argue, 
is about leveling the playing field, ensuring American companies follow the same trade rules imposed on everyone else. Meanwhile, global supply chains are caught in the crossfire. Semiconductor production spans multiple countries. Chips might be designed in California, manufactured in Taiwan, and assembled in Malaysia before being shipped to China. Any new tariffs or restrictions could disrupt this delicate network, raising costs for industries from consumer electronics to automotive manufacturing. For ordinary consumers, the impact could be higher prices on smartphones, laptops, cars, and even household appliances, all of which rely on semiconductors. For China's domestic semiconductor industry, the anti-dumping probe could prove to be a major turning point. For decades, U.S. chip giants like Intel, Qualcomm, and Micron have dominated China's vast electronics market, supplying everything from processors for smartphones to memory chips for data centers. Their lower prices and advanced technologies made it extremely difficult for Chinese firms to gain market share or secure the massive investments needed to scale up production. By launching this investigation, Beijing signals it may impose tariffs, restrictions, or quotas on U.S. semiconductor imports. Such measures would give Chinese companies critical breathing space to expand production capacity without being immediately undercut by cheaper foreign competitors. Firms like SMIC, Hua Hong, and YMTC could secure more domestic contracts, attract government subsidies, and accelerate research programs in areas like AI processors, 5G chips, and next-generation memory technologies. Moreover, this aligns perfectly with China's long-term strategy of achieving semiconductor self-sufficiency under its Made in China 2025 initiative. Reducing reliance on U.S. technology shields China from future export bans, supply chain disruptions, or geopolitical shocks. In the long run, this probe could help Chinese chipmakers move up the value chain, transitioning from low-end mass production to becoming serious players in advanced semiconductor innovation. The international response to China's anti-dumping probe into U.S. semiconductors has been swift and intense. In Washington, lawmakers called the move retaliation, accusing Beijing of weaponizing trade policy to undermine American companies. U.S. semiconductor giants fear massive losses if the probe leads to tariffs or restrictions on their access to China, a market worth billions annually. Meanwhile, Europe and Asian nations like South Korea and Taiwan find themselves caught in the middle. Both regions rely heavily on semiconductor exports to China but are also aligned with the U.S. on trade and security issues. Any escalation could disrupt the fragile global supply chain that moves chips through dozens of countries before they reach consumers. Analysts warn this could accelerate a worldwide push toward chip nationalism, where nations race to build self-sufficient semiconductor industries to avoid being caught in future trade wars. Japan and India have already announced massive subsidies for local chip manufacturing, while the EU plans to invest billions under its European Chips Act. For China, the probe signals that it will no longer tolerate economic pressure without hitting back. For the U.S., it underscores the growing risk of decoupling between the world's two largest economies. One thing is clear. The chip war has entered a dangerous new phase, with global technology leadership hanging in the balance. The U.S.-China chip war is no longer just a trade dispute. It's a battle for technological dominance, economic security, and global power. With Beijing launching this anti-dumping probe, American semiconductor giants face a future of tariffs, shrinking markets, and rising competition from Chinese firms eager to dominate the industry. Around the world, countries are racing to build their own chip supply chains, fearing they could be next in line as tensions escalate. One thing is certain, this fight will shape the future of technology for decades to come. If you want to stay ahead on the biggest stories in global tech and geopolitics, Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future updates.